I'm sure you guys have heard of a YouTuber Dennis. A lot of people actually discovered my channel for a video related to Dennis. Some of you guys may have heard that Dennis, over the past two years, has created and put together a cartoon show. Like an actual proper cartoon show. They have high quality animations, at this time a full season with 10 episodes, a variety of characters, a starting to become an iconic opening theme, even credits showing the number of people who worked on the show, which are a lot of people. Even getting major sponsors like Canada Media Fund, Rocket Fund, WOW Unlimited Media. These are pretty big boys, all put together by Headspinner Productions. And even though this cartoon show is obviously aimed at a younger audience, You've got to give Dennis some respect and check it out and just admire how much effort this would have taken. This guy's a Roblox YouTuber. I've never seen a Roblox YouTuber or many other YouTubers outside of Roblox make something so incredibly large. Very impressive, Dennis. The cartoon show is also based around Dennis's channel and the characters and plots he has created over the years, which is really cool to keep it linked instead of going completely separate. Interestingly enough, the cartoon show had a lot of signs that it was coming or something like this was going to happen. The greatest sign that there was going to be a Dennis cartoon show is that a couple years ago, Dennis made small animated shorts at the start of some videos. These shorts were basic stop motions, probably created in Roblox Studio. Check my Roblox animations out by the way. And Dennis made a bunch of them, even uploading a 31 minute compilation of these shorts titled Roblox the movie. On top of that, Dennis a couple years ago had a channel called Sumiazalot. The Sumiazalot channel made animated shorts just like what Dennis did at the start of his videos. Evidently enough, Dennis stopped making these animations around the midst of 2018 and Dennis started working on Dennis Me just under two years ago as he confirmed. Meaning Dennis stopped making his stop motion animations and focused on his cartoon show much higher quality than his Roblox animations. And as I mentioned, the cartoon show is also based around Dennis's channel and the characters and plots he has created over the years, which can be seen all throughout the show. But here's a great example of the similarities. Another sign is that Dennis has always, since a young age, had an interest in drawing and comics. Saying so in his Draw My Life. And finally, I did try, I tried to find the poll, but there was once a poll, I believe it was on the semi other channel, it might have been deleted, but there was once a poll asking, I can't remember exactly, this was a couple years ago, but it asked what kind of like style of animations I'm pretty sure we wanted to see. And I'm pretty sure the two options was Roblox animations and cartoon animations. So, that being said, Dennis kind of like gave it away a little bit. I really wanted to find it. I really wanted to find it. And I actually remember that day I voted cartoon show because I wanted to see a cartoon show. But then animations went and he started making animations on the channel. Which are kind of like just edited. Anyways, I hope you found that little analyst interesting. I certainly did. Make sure you guys eat the like, smack the subscribe, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video.